Hi and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh Card Updates. I'm Ollie and I'm Joe. And uh, this is our top 10 videos of the week. And today we'll be talking about our top 10 uh, monster cards. Yeah. We've got, we've got 10 cards. We've actually got them all physically here as well. Yes. Um, it's a surprise we've kept hold of all of them to show you guys in this video. Yes, and they will um, they'll come up on the screen. Do you want to first? Uh, okay, yeah. My, well, one of my favourites is Odd Eyes Dragon. Odd Eyes Dragon, people, yeah, I love it. It's, what, it's a newish card. Yep, it's uh, the, the hero monster or the, the ace monster from, from Arc 5. Yeah. It's, it's 2,500 attack. I just love the picture. I think it's a really cool dragon. It's so odd looking. It looks like a T-Rex mixed with a dragon. I would say it does. It has that element of it can't really balance itself. I would wonder how an animal would balance well, mm, with, with proportions yeah, like that. They it's had that a tail. They had that with T-Rex. How would that balance itself when it managed to? Yeah, yeah that's true. Mm -hmm. But um, as well as it has a weird feet. That's if feet with <laughs> claws are a bit odd. It's a bit, it's a bit hoofy. It's a, it's a, honestly, I think it's a weird looking dragon, but I love it. Um, I mean, and I love the name Odd Eyes Dragon. It's basically they're trying to copy Red Eyes, I think, by calling it Odd Eyes. Honestly, I thought they would be copying Blue Eyes. Not so, really. If you think about it, I guess Odd Eyes is close to Red Eyes. And it's a two thousand five hundred attack, so. That's true. It's one of only three dragons we've got for you. Yes. Odd. Mm -hmm. You'd think there'd be more. So you yeah. you, you picked Odd Eyes Dragon. I'm going to counter you with the Trihorned Dragon. So I think back in... So obviously Trihorned Dragon was secret rare from the very first set of Yu-Gi-Oh! Legend of Blue Eyes. It's a touch less strong than, than Blue Eyes, but stronger than Dark Magician. At the time, um, I was with my friend, um, and his mum bought us a booster pack. I think I would have been uh, 11 years old. And unbeknownst to me, my parents had also bought me a booster pack for some reason. Um, so I opened these two packs on the same day, and both of them had secret rare Trihorn Dragons, and I've kept hold of both of them to this day. Um, and they both look like this. Which okay. is completely destroyed and ruined. We'll um, put the picture on the screen. But it's a truly great card. I, I mean, for me, sentimentally, obviously, it doesn't really serve much purpose now. No I, effect. At, at some point, there was a resurgence. Well, back at the time, you know, we had Manny to Bug and Hain Hain as fed monsters. Yeah. Um, stuff like this didn't have uh, an effect. Uh, there might have been a resurgence when trading kicked in. I remember a couple of decks. Um, maybe a couple of Demise decks actually played Trigon Dragon. I can't quite remember why, or Lab decks. But yeah, not, not competitive, but very much. Uh, and a cool looking card, I think. Important. And yes, unlike your Dragon, mine has claws. Proper. <laughs> and yeah, it looks like it's going to do some damage. Look, look more aggressive. Mine looks like. Hello. And um, it's, it's the only normal monster in this, too. I think, I think it was important to have a normal monster. Yeah. Um, it's certainly where the game where the game began. As well as we've got two fusions as well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, my f my next favourite is Super Volcroid Jumbo Drill. Um, I love it because I think it's a hilarious looking card. It's with Steamroid, Drillroid and Submarineroid. I think they make the card look hilarious. It's like a train that's just going to drill right in front. The artwork is, the, is it's fun, isn't it? Yeah. I think how they've done it and they kept the submarine. I li like it, it's a real strong card in the 3000. Um, Cyrus, he didn't use it much. Uh, not much, no. once or twice. I mean, so it, it could be made also with the, with the V Croid, the, the, the fusion spell, which yeah. made it kind of in, impenetrable. I think we'd only send it back to the hand or something. Um, yeah, it was. I think when I first saw it, I thought, why not? I need to have this in my deck. <laughs> so, as you saw in previous video, I've got two of them. Uh, I really want a third one, to be honest. Because I think they're just hilarious. And they're super strong. 
Uh, and yeah, um, what's your next one? My next one, so we're going to go through a raft of, of weaker, well not weaker monsters. I consider this a beautiful monster, Swarm of Scarabs. Um, <laughs> I played um, what would have been known as a Pac-Man type deck using very much flip cards, you know, I loved, I, it was a toss up between, oh, between Desla Kuda, Swarm of Locusts, Swarm of Scarabs, uh, I, I adored those sorts of decks, um, it was, basically my dad uh, went to the States and again, it seems to be all my packs, all uh, my stories revolve around packs that I bought and the circumstances behind it, my dad went to the States and in the States uh, they were far ahead um, in terms of the packs that were being released, up until I think we had Spell Ruler, they had Magic Ruler. Um, and because they were they were so far in advance, America got the seventh pack, which was Pharaonic Guardian, which is where Swarm of Scarabs come from, at about the sort of time that we got Metal Raiders. So we were just about getting uh, basic effect monsters by the time they had things like this. And in the pack, my first pack, I got a New Doria, which was also, you know, a good card. And, and Swarm of Scarabs, and I just thought, wow, this is incredible. So built my entire deck um, around getting these sorts of monsters on the field, having the Pac-Man deck, and slowly nibbling away at people's life points. And when everyone around you is just getting kind of starter deck Joey, it was a really weird thing um, for everyone to, everyone to see. You know, they were like, wow. This monster is 1600 attack. Well, this 500 attack thing is going to beat you. And in the end, Yu Gi Oh went this way. The normal monster died out, and it became all about effect monsters, especially, especially for that period of time. Yeah. Um, now, there are, they do release normal monsters, but not as much. Yeah, there was the. Uh, they're more secondary, secondary cards. Yeah. You don't really use them as a main. You might yeah. with like blue eyes. Yes, there, there are certain bosses that I think have remained. Yeah. But otherwise, um, otherwise, otherwise not. So it's the beginning of the effects. Yeah. Um. Right. Speaking of a brand new card, basically, was it came out a couple um, of years ago or last year. Year ago, we, it came out with the um, with the Japanese release of of the movie. Oh yeah, the movie. Um, Padfoot. Uh, you can see the video. Yeah, that's true. You can see where we got this from. Yeah. Is pa Palladium Oracle Mahab. And I love it because um, it's a monster what actually looks looks like a knight who travelled back to Egypt because he's got armor. He's got like a knight armor. It, does have, it has a lovely mix of kind of new and old at the same time. Yeah, actually. I like they tried to bring it back in the movie. The old tried yeah. to. And it's it's basically a dark magician, but effect basically. It's a, one of the like original dark magicians meant to be. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it was. Uh, yeah. Mama Hard in the in the um, movie. No, in the anime protector oh, yeah. was, was Yuki's protector. And yeah. It turns into the dark magician. That's where the dark magician comes from. So. And that's one good thing that we um, they created a good card and around it. Yeah. It, yeah. It's it's quite good in the dark magician deck. Uh, it works really well. No. And that and that's why I think um, pretty much one of the most known Yu-Gi-Oh cards, <laughs> maybe up with the Egyptian god cards, but certainly I think Yu-Gi-Oh is synonymous with Exodia the Forbidden One. Um, yeah, everyone loves. No. This is again another story. <laughs> I traded for this in a year, so I would have been twelve years old. We went wow. to Germany. Uh, for a school trip, and we found a toy shop, and they sold uh, English booster packs. And one of my good friends, Sam White, actually got this uh, the head of Exodia uh, straight from a pack, and I was amazed. And because yeah, it was hard to get, very very hard. Um, I think the the real opportunity to get it mainstream was in the master collection which we'll talk about in a bit but yeah on the way back he was like I don't actually want Exodia that much because he he didn't play it that much oh. there was no way he was going to get the five pieces and I think I I think I had a left leg or something and you started Yu-Gi-Oh! far uh, 
better than yeah, I, younger I, than me. I played it quite a lot. Yeah. Um, right. I, I was a newbie and I I, I played since I was about eleven, uh, eleven or ten, and yeah. So he was like, I was, I, so I was. What, what do you want for it? And he wanted Blue Eyes White Dragon, as any kind of as most people did in those days. So it's like fine by me. I had no interest at all in in, in Blue Eyes. I don't think. I think Blue Eyes uh, was a bit too overpowered. Uh, Not everyone wanted Blue Eyes. Everyone, wanted, I mean, it was more of a TV thing. And it came in the deck, and the way Yu Gi Oh was designed in those days, once you get the highest attack monster, unless you've got something like a Manny to Burger or a Hey Hey, you win. You, you, you win. Um, Nowadays, yeah. it's really hard to win with a big boss monster. Uh, you need, yeah, you need multiple. Yeah. So yeah, I got myself. This exact head of Exodia, I've obviously you know been reprinted many many times since. But this is a this is from uh, Lob. Those are the Blue Eyes again, uh, English edition, and yeah, it's really nice. And I have built a few Exodia decks. Yes, and they were annoying. Yeah, they beat me every time. I think. And I think I'm never won against it. Exodia obliterate. Yeah. Um, as you can see, he has more stories in. <laughs> And that with you yeah, me, I just got the packs, got the decks, and just went and played with, played, played, and Joe basically yeah. <laughs> got given them and that. I, and that's random stories. Yeah, I, the stories are what make the card really for me. I mean, other than the card I probably use most, I've all of these swarm of scarabs. Um, yeah.